Well, we're back with more Ship Graveyard Simulator. This time we're doing the submarine DLC that has just released, which I'm pretty excited about to see what the submarines are all about. I mean, we know what a submarine is. It's a submarine. But um, if you guys are new to this kind of like video or to this game here on the channel, uh, I'll leave a playlist down, down below and you can go ahead and check out our full like Let's Play series we have of it. Uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into our continued ship graveyard where we are going to dice some submarines up yes all right well welcome back everybody to another episode of ship graveyard simulator it's been a you know a few months since the last time we visited this game but the new dlc has just came out and that's the submarine dlc which i'm very excited to check out and go on through there um if you guys are not familiar with this game or this series that we did uh you know months ago i'll leave a, a link down below where you can check out the playlist for sure other than that, I want to get into the submarine action. So I don't even know. I guess one thing that we need to do for the submarine uh, DLC is is upgrade the tent, I guess. this I'm not really sure what this is, but I guess I'm assuming this is part of the DLC. So let's see here. Upgrade tent. $4,000, 5 gold scrap, 5 silver scrap, and 10 alcohols. And that will be able, to, we'll get the ability to book uh, submarines. Now I'll be honest with you, I do not have $4,000. But don't worry, I will definitely get us there uh, now. And just like that, we have enough for the tent so that we can go ahead and get these submarines in. So let's go ahead and press buy. Here we go. A little bit of a cutscene. New business achievement unlocked. Oh, baby. Here we go. Let's see. Okay, okay. So now we have the tent. Which then I am assuming we book through him or maybe we still book through our computer. Oh, here we go. Fantastic oh my god okay so here we go submarine you can have the sub tube um it will replace our big ship that we have we have the biggest ship right now but um I, we can dismiss this ship yeah yeah we'll dismiss this ship and then we can go to the next ship yeah i think we should start like small and go big right why, why not right we'll start small and maybe go big we'll see how this goes really i don't know uh, 540 dollars a day this is the victor the flag of it date 1941 and really the one thing that we are kind of looking into this here as we look into this dlc is just kind of the, the submarine itself like oh how cool it's, it's nice to have a submarine uh you know more or less it's it's pretty much the same game right just skinned differently um and there's not really at least to my knowledge right now there's no additional quests or there's nothing to kind of progress towards. Especially when you're at kind of like the stage that we're at right now. But hang on a sec. We'll go ahead and look at this bad boy as it comes in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sick though. It's sick. It looks pretty dope. I do have to say. But um, yeah, especially when you're like at the level that we are right now. Like level 46. Uh, we have almost all of our skills skills maxed out like there's not much that we are really lacking on um uh, i would like to see like like this is probably submarine dlc would be a awesome add-on and a little bit of a different flavor if i were starting this game out from scratch right but since i'm not um you know you could go ahead and get specific uh, materials from these submarines like this one in particular has all the steel i think uh yeah you know other than them looking different and who knows maybe what we do also today is we go through an entire submarine right like this one because i think it is the smallest one technically we'll go through the entire submarine and then we can at least like take a look at all the different other submarines just visually and and see how how they look because um i do have to say submarines are pretty cool overall would not want to ever live in one Maybe ride in one. That's a different story, but live in one, probably not. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, so here we go. Let's see. This is the entrance to our submarine. All right, so up the ladder we go. Very well. Oh, and down the hatch. Oh, I love it. Cool, cool, cool. Entrance and exit, baby. All right, so here we go. We are inside of the submarine. Now, I'm going to go through here. Open it up. Yep, open it up. See nothing. Well, not nothing, but you can see all the different kinds of materials that we have here as well. Open up here. I just want to see the whole layout of this thing. Oh, you even got a save here, yeah. Because, you know, getting those gold bars and silver bars are not easy to get sometimes. 
Let's see if they actually pay us back. They do pay us back. Fantastic. Thank you for that. So I guess this would be called like the the first level, level one. Like um, you know, in the in the ship I'm regarding to, not like difficulty, but like the ship, because I did see downstairs. So this is the control panel. Interesting. Ah, so I wonder if everything goes on up here. Very, very cool. Control panel that gives us aluminum, uh, stainless steel, and chemicals. Very well. Very well. We're just checking out all the different materials you can actually potentially get from these submarines. Uh, you know, early, like I said, if you were to start this game over again and play, you know, another, like, another run on this, the submarine kind of, like, the first submarine is not looking too shabby, I will say, material-wise. What is this thing? Electrical box. Okay. So now the downstairs, which I'm assuming is where maybe people would sleep. Yeah? Maybe? Here's the engine department right here. How cool is this? Very cool. Come through here, see all this stuff. I want to see beds. That's kind of like the reason why I'm here. <laughs> I do want to see. Oh, there's no beds in the submarine, but there's a safe. How is there no beds in the submarine? What is this? Just an oper like a day op operational uh, submarine? You only like go out maybe for like a few hours and come back. Nobody's sleeping at all in this submarine. And I'm not saying like all submarines you have to. Oh, I didn't. Uh, Oh, there's more safes. There's three safes in here. Oh. Um, yeah, I kind of want to go back for more uh, lockpicks. I, I do want to open up those safes, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Because I want to do, like, uh, maybe if anything today. There's one thing that I can do, is, and I, and I can upgrade my house as well. But I need some silver to, to upgrade my house. I actually think I might have enough. I mean, they can need, like, silver, maybe some money, you know, things like that. And I got some materials still left over from my last jo job I did, you know, so we'll, we'll take a look here. We'll take a look and see how the uh, house upgrade is coming along. Other than that, I mean, um, everything else is like, oh, God, I'm coming on the wrong side here. Everything else is like the same. This DLC, I'm really not sure how much the DLC was. Uh, I have to say thank you to the to the publishers for, you know, giving me a key to check out the DLC, of course. But, uh, yeah, I, you know, I'm not really sure how much it is for but i think like something like this is good for if you were just starting over again right so twenty five hundred dollars six brass and six cast steel i don't think i have that actually six brass and six cast steel i definitely do not have that all right six brass and six cast steel i might be able to make some cast steel no let's see here um right there I need uh, cast iron and one steel. Okay, one cast iron, so six cast iron and six steel. I might be able to pull this off. So six iron, uh, and, or six cast iron and six steel. So there we go, we got our six steel. I just need to hope that I have some cast iron on me. Um, and it doesn't look like I do. It doesn't, damn it, crap. All right, well that's fine. Um, I just wanted to upgrade the house. But, you know, I'll go surfing for more, uh, more, uh, stuff there in when I go back. Cause I'm going to go back anyway. So can I like, uh, whoops, wrong guy. I want to buy more lock picks, please. That would be appreciated. Yes, yes, yes. Doesn't look like the DLC gives us any new tools or anything like that. So there's nothing really to get kind of excited over on that. Let's see. Lock picks, please. I would like, well, how much is max? Like, just give me a max. There we go. Okay. Let's head on back. Let's go get some more uh, silver and gold. And, you know, keep my eye out for, uh, what was it again? Cast iron and what else? Cast iron and, uh, no, cast steel and brass. Keep my eye out for cast steel and brass. I might not even have to furnish anything if I could just find these two things. Cast steel and brass. Cast steel and brass. Hopefully I'm saying that correctly. Oh, my God. I haven't played this game in so long, so, like, Remembering the uh, materials and all that is a little bit of a tricky one for me, but um, yeah, so cast steel and brass, cast steel and brass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, but overall, I think this ship looks pretty cool. Yeah, it looks really cool on the outside. I guess if you're like a big uh, nautical, uh, you know, ship goer, maybe even submarine goer, this DLC might hit different for you. You might, like, get the urge to want to just start the game all over. If you haven't played this game yet, and you're thinking about it, this might be a fun way to start, too, is with submarines. Okay, let's just see here. We're looking for cast steel, please. And some and some brass. Some brass. We're looking for purple, really. 
Purple, purple. I think it's both. I think both of them are purple. Yeah, I think they're both on purple. Of course, everything here is like legendary. I mean, I could grab some of this like steel, but even then, I'm not even in the in the. Oh, that might be something. Um, even then, I'm not even out of the out of the hook yet because like I gotta get like the um. I gotta get the cast iron. I don't even see any cast iron over here. No cast iron. Interesting. In here, anything in here? I was hoping I could find the materials that I needed in this ship, but I guess this is not the case. Chemicals, steel. I mean, we have a bunch of steel. We just don't have any cast iron. Where's all the cast iron? That's fine. At least we can come in here. Yeah, at least we can come in here. Bop a few things. There we go. Get into this. Uh, get into the safe. Yeah. And we look inside. And, of course, you know, gold and silver and all that. Which is cool, but, like, you know, after a while, you, you, you can easily get a lot of gold and silver. Which I guess would be good for selling. Right? Selling. Sometimes the objectives, you know, some of the missions or some of the jobs that you take up do require it. Obviously, we saw that for the, you know, getting the tent. You know, we needed uh, gold and we needed silver. And you obviously see it for, um, for upgrading the house. You need silver for upgrading the house and things like that, but... Now, other than that, silver and gold, I guess, is just a sellable material. Because I don't think you can use it in a crafting material sense, either. Damn it. Definitely not gold, at least. Silver, probably not, either, but come on, now. Oh, my God. You're killing me. You're actually killing me. I'm dying in the seat. Oh, my God. Come on, please. Thank you, Lord have mercy, just for a little bit of scrap, silver and gold. Anyways, that has been like this, uh, oh my god, this ship. And like I said, I would like to actually look at all the ships today. I, I would, I would like that. There we go. There we go. So you can see the destruction progress of Victor. As you can see the, like, the, the, the ticker at the top, they're going up. Oh, yeah. You know, once you, like, destroy this entire ship, like, you know, it's done. <laughs> Anyways, I know, I'm kind of, like, giving the game a hard time right now, but... Yeah, so, that's that's basically the ship one, right? Now, will I have enough money to afford to look at every single ship? That's my hopes here. I'm hoping that I have enough, like, spare change, good sir, and um, we can take a look. Because I would love to just at least look at them. So let's go ahead and drive back. We'll order up. Oh, shoot. I got to go that way. I got to go that way, but you know what? I'm going to come over here first so I can sell a bunch of things. I'd rather sell a bunch, right? And who knows? Maybe I sell all my gold and silver. Consideringly, considering, I should say, considering that it's super easy to get gold and silver now with the submarine, uh, submarines. So let's go here. There we go. 13K. I'll sell it all. Yeah, I'll sell it all. Yeah, it, it's super easy to get um, gold and silver, I guess. I mean, that was like the first summer sh submarine. $500 a day and a crap ton of gold and silver. Um, you think about you think about all the other ships from like the default game. I don't know why I didn't drive that over there, you stupid son of a gun. Um, you think about the, the ships about the, you know, in the base game. And, you, you know, some of them give off gold and silver. But really, you have to like search for them. Go to the captain's, you know, you know, I don't, the, the, not the cockpit, but you know, the deck or what, not the deck either. What, what's it called? Where they, uh, you know, where they steer the ship. But um, yeah, all you have to do is go there, and maybe they'll have like one safe with like a couple of things, but they don't have multiple safes like this one did. That was actually kind of crazy. So that was the Victor. Uh, let's go ahead and go to the next one now. We'll go to the 720. This is the Typhoon Flag JP. Um, date of 19. 39 now is there any differences in this one i'm not sure i think there is yeah there's differences yeah obviously there's differences obviously obviously so yeah this is going to be a different ship so all we have to do is go to bed and then our new ship will come well 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 there's our new ship right there in all its glory look at that thing looks kind of similar to the last one but there is differences in it now hopefully there's going to be some slight differences inside or if it's going to be exactly the same. I don't know. I guess we're going to find that out together. So down the hatch we go. 
There should be different materials, though. If there's any, like, cast steel or any brass, I definitely will keep my eye out for that. <laughs> so, first things first, very similar here. Downstairs, of course, as well. Let's go ahead and pop that. And I mean, I know, right? It's like, how much more different can you get? A submarine is a submarine. There's only some limited of terrain, right? I know, I get it, but, like, you know. I want to see if there is any differences. That's why I'm just kind of, like, comparing the two. There we go. There we go. Through here. And I'm also, like, keeping an eye out on the materials, like, what different materials that we can expect. So, oh, this is actually interesting. Uh, it doesn't look like this is where they are controlling the ship from up here. Uh, looks like this is where they're storing some stuff. What is that? Is that some silver? Yeah. You gotta open the chest, right? You gotta definitely open the chest. What's in the chest? Uh, chrome, uh, chrome, chromium, silver scrap, petroleum, chemicals, and titanium. And then, obviously, a couple of chests, which I'm not going to reopen. You know, I have plenty right now. So that's very cool. I don't know why I opened up the chest before, or like that little box and then the chest. I should have just opened up the chest, because that's what I was more interested in. And then you have the engine room here, which the engine pistons and the engine itself, they're all a different color. I don't know if that means they're a different engine. I'm, yeah, I would assume they are, right? Not because of the color, but just look at them, right? Yeah. Who knows? All right, let's go into the next room. Next room gives us, like, look at this. This is like a, like an oil sink. Oil sink. It's like a bunch of random stuff just, like, placed in a room, you know? Like, I don't, I don't, hey, this one has beds, though. I don't think they would like to, like, you know, I don't think they would want this place to be so cluttered. Wait, does this not one, does this not have, like, a, see, look at, look at this. Look how easy it is. I'm telling you, if you need gold or silver. Get this. Get this submarine. Not this particular submarine, but get this DLC. <laughs> um, and just order a submarine. Two chests. Uh, sorry, two, two safes. One chest there. One chest there. Not to mention the chest that we just opened up upstairs. There's a lot of random stuff just thrown into here. There's no, like, control room, though. That's what I was like. Well, who's controlling this? Did I pass the control room? Ah, right here. Interesting. All right, well, that was the, that was the uh, Typhoon, I guess. We can go ahead and look at the other submarines as we come along now. All right, so the next uh, one that we have on the, li li on the list here is the Hurricane, which is the U.S. flag. Uh, date of 1940. We will go ahead and uh, book this. And by the way, you can go ahead and see there's a small amount of cast iron in this one, which is kind of interesting, right? After this, we only have one more. Oh, my God, this is actually, is this the best submarine? Did I do that out of the order? I think I did. 500 to 720, and then I went to 1300 instead of 1200. I don't know. I guess we'll find that out also. <laughs> and there is the hurricane. This one looks very much, uh, it looks big, right? Does this, it looks way bigger. Like, okay, maybe not lengthwise, but definitely like width wise. It looks like it looks more like there's more depth to it for sure. And you can already kind of tell. Uh, with like the double ladders that's going on here. I don't think the other ones had a double ladder. I don't know Why am I getting stuck on the ladder? Come on now There we go up here. Yeah, this is definitely a thick one. This is a big one. My god All right, so here we go. We drop into the hurricane and uh, First thing like this this looks like a proper submarine to me kind of but you know Still around the same date, which is actually kind of interesting compared to the other submarines this is a massive one, right? Obviously, it's a massive one. But you can kind of see for yourself that, uh, I mean, they were still built in, around the same, uh, same, um, same time period. Like, there's only like, maybe a year or two apart from the other ones. Now, that's a master door. I want to unlock that. I wonder if this goes into the control room. Master door. I don't think I've ever unlocked a master door, at least to... That I remember. What the heck? Why would this be a master door? Intermediate box, intermediate box, intermediate box, intermediate box, intermediate box. So a bunch of intermediate boxes gives us this master door. Okay. Interesting. Uh, I'd rather not open up the beginner door. Intermediate door. Does this all just like kind of go? It does all kind of circle around now, doesn't it? 
Okay. So I'm assuming this goes into here, which then goes into here, and this is, yeah, this goes into that hallway. Okay. Kind of like a U there. That's fine. All right, let's work our way back towards the back of the, I almost said boat, back of the sub. There we go. Wow, look at this. It's crazy, is it not? It's so much different. Oh my God, there's even down there too. We're, we'll, we'll go down there. Don't worry about that. Ow. I mean, I did say that it doesn't look longer. It looks like it looks wider. But who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it is longer too. Cause this is a this is a hefty walk down this long hallway. There we go. Multiple places to go downstairs as well, which we will do now. Make sure we go downstairs. Yeah. Nope. Not in this room. The other room. Yeah. 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 Look at that. How cool is that? Oh, that's so good. What's back there? More control panels. So there's like a giant, like, there's actually control panels everywhere. Everywhere you go. Look at that. Oh, look at, is this the engine room? This is definitely the engine room. Interesting to note here. Uh, the engine room for this one is actually in the back of the sub. And it looked like the other two submarines, they um, they were in the front of the sub. Interesting. I don't know what the significance is on that. I don't know if there's a strategy there. I mean, you would think that, you know, you, you think that if a, if a submarine or a boat was coming at you head on, um, you would want to protect the, uh, the engine right as much as possible so you wouldn't want to put the engine in the front but then again all the cars that we have in real life the engines are in, are in the front so I don't, I don't know i don't know so there's a couple safes in here too so you can get your gold and silver on as well there's another level down this is a three-story one whoa three levels this is so massive this submarine is huge dude and you got more intermediate boxes in here. Wow. Yeah, this is definitely the, the biggest sub that you could get yourself into here. For sure, for sure. Interesting. Okay, well, I mean, that's pretty cool. Overall, I like it. Definitely the granddaddy here. Right? Absolutely. Absolutely the granddaddy. See, now, the only thing with this sub is that you got to be careful because you can definitely get lost in it very, very quickly. Now, I'm going to come over here, and this is where we entered. Now, does this replicate how long we were, like, how long, like, the hallways were? I guess so, yeah? Yeah, I guess so. Interesting. It doesn't seem long on the outside, but I guess it is pretty long. All right. Very well. Let's move on to the last uh, sub. Now, I assume this last sub, or this next sub, uh, is going to be somewhat very similar to the one we just did so this is called storm and this is the de flag uh, built in 1938 so two years younger than the one we just went through but i i am assuming it's going to be somewhat very very similar now will the layout be similar uh maybe not um but the length and and size maybe so the length i'm assuming is the same i'm gonna go ahead and take an assumption here too i'm gonna say that the submarine is also three stories compared to two like the other ones i guess we'll just have to, we'll just have to see yeah and look at that bad boy that looks bigger doesn't that look bigger i don't know it looks taller yeah it definitely looks taller but lengthwise it definitely looks shorter this is definitely a shorter submarine but who knows we might be looking at possibly four stories here compared to three stories i don't know all i know is that it's tall it's built vertically and not built horizontally. Again, with the with a ship this size, look at the entrance. With a ship this size, I am interested in um, where they where they would have the engines at. So already, yeah, look at this. We have floor one, floor two, floor three. So we already know right off the bat that this is a uh, three-story um, submarine. Right off the bat, you can already find uh, some safes here for your gold and silver. Yep, four stories. There it is. There's four levels. Four levels in this, um, oh god, in this um, submarine. Oh, and by the way, the engines, I guess, are right here in, in right up towards the front, in a way. Okay. Wow, this boat is actually really cool. 
this one is i say boat again this sub is probably my favorite one in the game i would have to say i just love the design i love the uh the 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 verticality here love the fact that um, there's a lot of open space. I love how the engine looks as well. I know like, oh, what do you mean how the engine looks? Well, I like the color. I like the color that they chose, right? Um, yeah, very, very cool. Seems like already there's a lot of uh, chests, a lot of safes you can get into. Now, I'm going to go through here and see where we're at. Like, look at, I don't know. Like, there's a safe in there, no? Yeah. Look at this. It, I don't know. It just feels like it's so much more wide open. There's another safe right there too. Compared to a um like compared to to a submarine like like in all right, in real life you think submarine, you know, and you're like, "Oh, claustrophobia, you know, very close quarters. Something you don't want is to like be so closed up." Every, all the other submarines were kind of like that. Even the last one. Uh but this one, I mean, it has that going for it, right? It has the it's a little bit bigger you know it's a little bit wider there's a little bit more room you know what i mean now it's interesting that we are we have two levels of engines so we have an engine on the fourth floor i'm gonna say the fourth floor engine on the fourth floor down there uh engine on this level here on the third floor second floor has a couple of chests now i'd be interested is there gonna have more engines up here too if so then i don't understand how submarines work okay nope no engine up. Eh, there's an engine part. It says it's an engine part. Does that classify it as, as it's an engine? I think it has to. <laughs> I think it has to. You see that thing stationary? It looks stationary. So, yeah, and here's some uh, more engine parts up here too as well. Does that mean there's three levels of engines? That's an interesting take as well. All right, so let's go up to the top here as well. Now, will there be all levels have engines? Again, I don't know how this works in a submarine. I don't know. Right, there it is. That, that doesn't look like it's supposed to function. Why is this not supposed to function? Because look how close it is to the control panel. I feel like it's just there. I don't feel like this is going to be a functionally uh, engine part unless it's moved to something else. Because why would you have a control panel right there next to that engine? Yeah. Whoa, there's a back end to this? Oh, that's cool. See, that's another thing that the, the others didn't have. Now, one thing I haven't seen, I, I, I admittedly will say that I haven't opened every door, but I haven't seen any beds. There's no beds at all. But there is two uh, entrances and exits here. Two hatchets, which is very cool to see. But yeah, look at this. Look at this thing from the back. Huge, right? Absolutely huge. Massive. Thick. Definitely thick. The thickest of them all. I think that one's my favorite one, though. Storm is probably my favorite one, I have to say. But anyways, that's going to be it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed this look at of the DLC, of the submarine DLC. We took a look at all four of the submarines. Um, it, what, what are my thoughts on it? Well, you know, if, if you're really into submarines, you could definitely get into it and, and uh, destroy some. Other than that, um, if you've completed this game and you're kind of where I'm at with level 46 and unlocked everything and skills unlocked, it's kind of like just play it for your own passion. You're not getting more additional content, really. You're not getting any quests. You're just getting four more stuff to four more things to destroy. If you are like new to sh uh, Ship Graveyard and you're going to be thinking about going for your first time run, I would recommend uh, picking up the DLC for your first run. For sure, because this definitely will give you more uh, options and varieties and more spice to it, for sure. Anyways, that's going to do it for me. Like I said, if you want to check out a playlist that I've done on this game, you can go ahead and check it out in the link down below. It's been a pleasure on being with you guys here today, and I hope to see you guys in the next video, wherever that may be. And do as always, take care.